Herman wanted to make it very clear Bouchelle did not lose that game against Maryland. They had a ton of other issues. Handoff to Kyle Porter. And maybe a yard up. They've lost quite a bit, Patrick Hudson. They, they're, they're a patchwork offensive line right now. All by himself is Bouchelle to throw on second down. The quick screen out into the flat to Lorenzo Joe. Over 50,000 here at Jack Trice. Here's Bouchelle. Good pocket for him. Has plenty of time. Directing traffic, and now he's tripped up. Drop to the 15 of the fumble. The ball comes out. Jaquan Bailey put the pressure on and dropped him. Muttered in the last After the two play weeks. was over, the sportsmanlike conduct, number 19. Defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. So Texas doesn't have to punt. They get a fresh set of downs on first down and 10. Kids on a Thursday night having a good time. Oh, come on, man, already. A little, sum, little somersault. Don't get off my lawn, Greasy, come on. And here they come. It is just the three. And again, you would expect that. Michelle would have all sorts of time. Time for a cup of coffee. Pumps and goes. And the throw, and it is caught for first down yardage. Out, first and ten out, about near midfield. And they'll put it on the ground to Chris Warren. Middle linebacker, and he says, whatever you need, coach. It's unbelievable. Here's Kyle Porter. Uh, five upcoming. And they're bringing pressure this time. Bringing six. And that allows the underneath to be opened to little Jordan Humphrey. Humphrey's across the 30. And Humphrey has them in excellent field position. By Shane Bouchelle. He sees the double edge pressure, knows he's got to get the ball out of his hand quick. Just give your playmakers an opportunity. And... Here's Texas on the move now inside the red zone. And off to Kyle Porter. And he's down to the 15-yard line. Defense, which is a completely different animal. Second down and six is the 11th play of the drive. Again, aided by the unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. It's Warren. Stop. Yes, Greasy. Hey, Greasy, we're going to need you to play middle linebacker um, in Michigan. Right in. Chris Warren. Right through Lanning and that defense. Local and regional charity rides as well as races throughout the Midwest. You couldn't see me. I was behind Kucharski. Mm -hmm. Getting my ride in there. There's Devin Duvernay. I wonder if they charge for those tickets. Uh, uh. On second and four, Kyle Porter. And he will lunge forward, but it's where he can succeed on third down. Interesting signals there. It's Kyle Porter. He has stood up at the line. First down and 10. Out just shy of the 31. Michelle on the money to Dorian Leonard. And Leonard is dropping. He will have first down. Scoring drive in the run game, but Michelle has done what he's needed to. Outside of that little fumble. Now that it was recovered. Nearly intercepted. Players in the secondary. Kamari Cotton Moya and DeAndre Payne. But Cotton Moya returning for this one. Here's Warren as he gets real close to midfield. Here's third and two. And make it five for five as Warren wide receivers for Texas. It's kind of a, a, a catch-22 situation right now. On first down and 10. Hand off to Warren. Loose football. It's out. And it's Ruth who's recovered it. Texas tries to get tricky. Someone who's not used to passing it off and handing it to somebody else. And we saw it last week in our game in Oklahoma State where they threw the ball or really didn't need to. And there, Warren clearly yep. should have understood that this play is over at this point and just like you said, yeah. eat it. And give us some credit to J.D. Wagner. Center. College football tomorrow night. Final half minute of this first quarter. Texas will keep it on the ground with Chris Warren. Two, Steve Levy, Brian Greasy, Todd McShay, and the Thursday night staple that is Laura Rutledge. It's Bouchelle on the run, and he is slammed around and spun down. Bouchelle's all by himself in the backfield. Has Warren split out top of his screen, looking in that direction, and he will throw and complete Able to hook up with Cade Brewer. After review, the ball carrier was short. The ball will be placed at the 21 and a half yard line. Fourth down. Used to. You're, you're not doing that any right now. College football fans. Let me, let me ask you about Major League Baseball. Can we go there? Playoffs are coming up. Your, <laughs> your Rockies are looking good. On first down and 10. It's Tennille Carter. His wild card game coming up on ESPN. You'll have to go elsewhere for your Rockies playoff game. Not there yet. We, we got to win a couple more. Oh, you told me we're locked up. What do you mean? <laughs> you told me they were all 
set. Colorado's good to go. It's good drive. Couple. Oh, Average starting position, the own 17. And on third down and one, Bouchelle trying to get there. And it is the second effort. First down and 10 now. Out at the 23. Off the low snap. Bouchelle looking to his left. And now we'll check it down to Tennille Carter. Who can give it to him. Played in the San Jose State game, but didn't play in either of the other two. And there is Carter off the draw. Good protection. And it's caught for the short game. Colin Johnson makes the catch. No, they're going to say it was incomplete. Fight. Give a little bit of ground. Let him complete that ball to the outside. And then after he throws it, come up and get your hands on that football. And he continues to fight. Colin Johnson, it's a difficult catch. Good. Texas with a 7-0 lead. 7.5 to play here in the first half. Bouchelle will keep it. Finds a seam, has the first down, and then will slide down. 48 had been enforced. But again, that is not a target. That is unsportsmanlike conduct. And that's the rule on the field. Still, it's a 15-yard penalty game. And here's Foreman. Second down and seven. Warren in motion, bottom of your screen. Bouchelle looks to take off. He'll run, and he'll dive forward this time. Here's third and two. It's Bouchelle again. This is the Shane Bouchelle show right now. I have a player, but for this offense to be working at its best, they need that element. Here's Bouchelle to throw. He's 8 of 10. Doesn't feel the pressure. He's smacked as he's hit, and he throws and completes. Remember, he had an early fumble, but he really hung in here on this play. Yeah, and we had Tennille Carter, the, the true freshman running back, matched up on Joel Lanning, and this is just speed to the end zone. Great route. And right there, you see, this is, that's tough. you got to stand in there and make that throw for your team. Lead the uh, running back downfield. It's great play design there. Oops, backed up at their own one. With a minute 42 left, to play conservative and get out of here. I doubt it. All right. On first down, they get out of the end zone and out to the two-yard line, Kyle Porter. And they'll run it right up the middle. Right up the gut is Porter, and he is pushed back and a timeout. Oh, Third down and eight. Doesn't, right? hmm. Keeping it on the ground, conservative as you thought. And we'll see Iowa State use the quick timeout. Passes longer than 10 yards. Here's Shane Bouchel. Hit from behind as he throws. That's up for grabs and batted away. Bouchel, when it's come, has come from that left side where there's no Connor Williams to protect. Trying to set up the screen for Warren. It's got running room. Leaps over a defender Takes with no time left on the clock. Like conduct. That allowed Texas to keep that first drive going and score the touchdown to open the football game. Offside, number two, defense. So those mixed coverages have really helped. Matt Campbell telling me they have more up their sleeve. All right, thank you. Lauren donning the jacket as temperatures have dropped. Adjustments to blitz a little bit more in the second half. Here's that pressure. And Bouchelle saw it coming. They set up the middle screen nicely out to the 35-yard line to Colin Johnson. He's a the guy they want to get more involved as well. He's going to be to the night for Johnson. Low snap. Bouchelle was effective running in the first half. Island. Ball start. Number 68. Offense. One in attack. On first and 15. Bouchelle on the run. And he'll dump it off to Lil Jordan Humphrey. What was Steve instead? Very similar. You can see I could confuse those two. Here's second and 17 now. Bouchelle will tuck it and run. Team. Eight of 12 on third down conversions tonight. This is a big one at third and 15. Look at the time. And eventually he will just dump it off to Humphrey. Something up his sleeve. That should be an entertaining ball game. And even whoever loses that, don't count them out so quick. I'd see a rematch. Somebody's got to take a loss. There's Texas there. We're starting field position of the night, starting from the seven. And on first down, they get it out to Reggie Hemphill. Oh, you can hear the cracking down there. Some heavy hitting going on. And Tennille Carter checks in. 
Carter, the true freshman running back, had a 22-yard receiving touchdown. The Texas is second score of the game. And here's Carter again, able to turn the corner, and he's got first down yardage. Holding, number 64, offense, 10 yards from the spot of the foul, still second down. And they're their arms, here he is right here, he's gonna come up on the second level and he just gets extended with his left hand right here. And that's that's a good call. Stay Rattled group. Second and 17. Michelle able to get out of there. And throw on the run, down the field. And overthrew his intended target, Lorenzo Joe. Holding, number 68. Offense, that penalty is declined, third down. That's Carter to his left. Cyclones look like they're bringing some people. And they don't. They all drop back. They only rush three. And Bouchelle nearly got caught. Now able to step into a throw. And a good catch. Colin Johnson coming back. Needed 17, got 25. Bouchelle to throw. 68 again. Another flag. And Bouchelle was throwing that away. Holding, number 68, offense. First down and 20. It's been a flag fest here early on in the third quarter. Draw play to Kyle Porter. Back to Ames, Iowa. And here's Bouchelle. Finally, some pressure up the middle. Gets out and it throws and it's intercepted. It's picked off. Mistake. You're going to see the pressure from up front. Got to get that pressure right there. And then the decision, he doesn't see the backside safety caught Moyotov. And he hadn't seen that look very often today. <laughs> and then he also said he was able to pick out a dream house. That's Chris Warren, the ball carrier. At Ohio State, and then what he was able to do at Houston in a short amount of time. It was impressive. Second and eight, it's Chris Warren. Offense because of what they want to do, but they need to get better up front offensively in that line. Third and five off the play fake. Get it to Foreman, and he won't get anything. Last three drives have started the seven, the four, and here their own 14 yard line. Here's Carter. There is a flag down. Holding number 75, offense. Half the distance to the goal, still first down. Part of the New Orleans native, they fake to him. That ball is tipped up in the air by Willie Harvey. And they're gonna call it an Iowa State touchdown. Well, from the quarterback, take a look. Great look here from the opposite side. I think that one's coming forward. Yeah, we're gonna look at that too. They're gonna we? let it go. Rolling on the field is a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. After review, the ball is going forward. Therefore, it's an incomplete forward pass. And that was not the case. The pass was going forward across the line of scrimmage, even without before the tip. Here's Bouchelle with all sorts of time, and see they're going to call that a catch off. The... Bouchelle to throw from the end zone. Short game, Joel Lanning. Here in the third quarter. Here's Bouchelle with excellent field position. I put myself. Play a game. Offense. Five-yard penalty, no first down. Just back five yards after the penalty. Michelle will hand it off to Foreman. Trying to get around the corner, and he can't. Texas with the lead in the football. Across midfield, and here's Shane Bouchelle. Check it down underneath the Chris Warren, and he's inside the 40-yard line. There he is, taking off, using the legs, takes a shot from Joel Lanning. Ball of all, of all people, right? It's, every coach is different. Every coach has a different way of, of handling quarterbacks and quarterback because of one game. And everybody's watching, and TV networks are replaying that, right. like us. I think, well, I think both of them, both of them has handled it. Has not lost his temper either. Absolutely. As the relationship develops, I imagine that story will develop. That'll be something to be talked about all week long. They've had some blow-ups oh, between Campbell and Jacob Park. He's still... Make it into a bigger deal. There's third and 11. Bouchelle, he's running all the way. You can see that. Right behind his big offensive line. They're unselfish and want to do it the right way. You can't stand for anybody that's outside of that. 
him in to be a scout and get him inside their organization. Urban Meyer tried to hire him at Ohio State before he took the, the head job. Two double-digit leads in the second half, fourth quarters of games against Oklahoma State. Just Baylor, Carter. right? That, that. Up the middle is Warren. And he defense. I mean, they really, in Todd Orlando, is doing a great job. The adjustments he made from that first game of the season, they went out and got embarrassed. And Tom Herman told us he barely feels good about six yeah. that they can play on Saturdays. Third and six. Buscello's already run for five first downs, trying to get a sixth. It's a good sign there. You just run that ball behind that offensive line. Questions that are on the in the next month for, for Texas. Well, first down and ten. Hand it off to Porter. A helmet comes off. The way they played against Iowa, who I think is a good football team, I mean, Iowa shut, Iowa shut down Penn State, right? Uh, so, I, you know, I think that they, they can be a little bit better. Now, this Texas defense has held Iowa State to 10 yards rushing. Yes, he said 10. <laughs> and that will be the final play.